Well, it's that time of year that LEGO announced the latest addition to the Creator Winter Village theme, and this year is no disappointment with the announcement of the Gingerbread House. Hi everyone, my name is Dan, and in today's video, I'm going to take a look at the brand new Gingerbread House set number 10267. These images are provided to me as a recognized LEGO fan media. Let's take a look between the bricks. Okay, so let's jump right on in and take a look at the set. Looking at the box art here on the front, you can see that it is a Creator Expert. There is a light brick included in the set. It is number 10267 as stated before, and it weighs in at 1,477 pieces. You can see on the box there that it is the gingerbread house. You also get the two minifigures and a whole bunch of accessories which we will go through uh, in the course of the video. On the back of the box you can see that the building is open backed which is pretty common in LEGO builds. You can also see some settings that uh, LEGO have suggested with the minifigures and the accessories included. So taking a closer look at the gingerbread house itself. I think this is beautiful. I really, really like it. It epitomizes what a gingerbread house looks like or should be like. It has nice angles to the roof, the chimney, the windows, the candy canes, the coloring, everything just works well as far as I'm concerned. There is enough lines to suggest the frosting. There is enough color to suggest the sweets and candies detail. Uh, the candy canes themselves also act as a signpost. Uh, the fire and the table and the logs all culminate to create the little homely feel that a gingerbread house should have. You can see here that the two minifigures included are both gingerbread people, uh, a male and a female, which we'll take a closer look at a little bit later on in the video. And we have a baby gingerbread tile okay that works i guess uh it's probably the easiest way for lego to represent a baby gingerbread <laughs> looking at this image you can see the stroller for the baby tile uh yeah okay it works for purpose i guess uh, but if we break it down and actually look at the new parts I'd need to check to see whether the ingot piece came in uh, reddish brown. I'm not sure if it does or not. Uh, if it does come in reddish brown in any other sets, please do let me know in the comments below. But uh, I do particularly like the way that the stroller has been built with the uh, reddish brown wheels and the cookies uh, for the hubs. It actually just is really quite nice. What I also like is the little detail behind the gingerbread lady that is the logs using the um, one by one round cylinder pieces and the printed log end tile and the way that they're using these uh, two by two modified plates with the, the claws or the, the rock ends. I've seen these in other colors but in white they work perfectly as uh, snow or frosting dangling off the side of the gingerbread house. Uh, this is a closer look at the fireplace. I particularly like the use of the fence piece in there with its curves and just really nice decorative piece in behind the fire. The flames look like they actually are the same on both sides so that the fire looks lit from the inside and the outside, which I think is pretty good. Uh, probably not overly practical though, having a fireplace that... Uh, is inside and uh, outside but hey this is the the lego verse we can we can accept a few uh, artistic licenses and you can see there from that view the the logs there represented on the side also the one by one with the scroll off to the side in reddish brown by the looks of things uh, again i'd need to check to see whether that's a, a new color or not if it is again let me know in the comments below so here's a full view of the rear of the building and you can see that there is uh, an upstairs and a downstairs obviously uh, it's very well detailed for such a small model there is a lot of details in there if you just take this all in for a second you can see that there's a bathroom with a toilet uh, there's a bed there is a baby bed for the 
tile. Downstairs, uh, a single seat for one of the gingerbread people to sit down and uh, a small kitchen unit and of course the fire. But look at all the other detail, the candles, the pictures, the windows, uh, the, the toys. The, it, there's just a lot going on in here. So there is a lot going on in this set that is all good stuff. I really, really like it. So here's a close-up view of the fireplace scene from the inside. So again, as I said before, it looks the same from the inside and the outside. That window behind the gingerbread man, you can see that the studs are on the side of the bricks. So the bricks are built and then must be slotted in or stuck to the wall. And then the frame built around that. It would be clever engineering that could be utilized elsewhere in other builds. I uh, really like the details of all the cookie tiles and the swirl tiles. Love those candle pieces, always have since they first appeared in the Harry Potter sets. Particularly like the use of the 1x2 modified plate with the rounded ends behind the stocking there uh, that's holding the 1x2 the tile and the curved tile all together. Uh, really nice little build. Again, I think that could be utilized pretty much anywhere else in any other Christmas scene. So well done for that close-up look at the kitchen looks pretty standard it's a very small kitchen as most lego houses are but it has all the essentials including the the hood and the tap and the basin and it looks like there is just a little bit of detail around by the door maybe to represent coat hooks or uh, somewhere for gingerbread people to put their keys and of course we move upstairs there's a couple of things that i'd like to note in here uh, the first one is the ingots again in tan by the looks of things we need to check that to see if that's a new color the two by two macaroni tiles on the floor in tan i think that might be a new color as well and the one by one uh, stud with the bar in what looks to be pink Again, potential new color. So there look there could be a, a whole lot of new colored parts in this set, which are always welcome for creative Lego builders. No gingerbread house is ever complete without a bath. Uh, this bath construction actually looks pretty good. And if the minifigure can sit in it like this, this could be replicated for a bath in any other dwelling in Lego land that you wish to build. I like the build for this toilet too, by the way. Uh, the cistern actually looks pretty good with those new uh, one by one rounded modified bricks, I think they are. And uh, again, not sure if I've seen those in white, but a uh, nice little build, very compact and very, very transferable to other models. Uh, there's just a nice view of the fireplace without the minifigures obscuring. Uh, you can see here that the, the tiling on the floor transitions through from the kitchen area through to what would be considered the living room or fireplace area. Looking at how those stockings are stuck to the mantle, uh, actually really, really clever. I really, really like that section. And again, transferable to another building if you were to be building uh, a My Own Creation or a mock of an older style house that has a big open fire and a mantle, there's your answer. Okay, so take a quick look at the gingerbread woman. You can see that she's using the same skirt piece as the Minnie Mouse minifigure. Uh, exclusive prints on the head and the body as well as the skirt. And the skirt would be a new color piece for that particular part as well. The gingerbread man is an exclusive print on the head and the moustache. Um, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say a little bit of a miss. Okay, uh, It looks like eyebrows upside down to me, just personally. Um, I don't like it. So here's some of the accessories that are also included in the set. Uh, you can see there is a, a rocking horse, which I think is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It will go perfectly in lots of other settings. A few gifts, uh, a little truck, and uh, a love heart. So just further to the accessories is this little model train, which does feature heavily in some of the other images. And again, we can see the tile. And for the first time in any of the images, 
There is a, a bottle, a baby bottle included too, so a couple of other things that we have not seen before. There is also a Christmas tree. Now, to me, the star piece looks new. I have not seen this piece before, so this could be a whole new mold in a not whole new color. The methodology behind building this Christmas tree I don't think is overly new. I've seen other trees that LEGO have built in the past using the same uh, sloped plate patterning uh, on four different sides. This I particularly love. This could be utilized anywhere else. You could rebuild this either in the same color or different colors and you could easily put this into a snow or a winter scene anywhere with any other minifigure at all. Clearly this is meant to be representing a uh, motorized snow shovel. So there you have the gingerbread house. I love it. I'll definitely be buying it as soon as it's available. And I look forward to building it and displaying it next to my other creator Winter Village sets. So this set gets the BTB seal of approval. I can't wait to get it. When I do, I'll be building it live on Twitch. Make sure you head over there, twitch.tv forward slash between the bricks and drop a follow. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.